Mr. Speaker, uh, I rise also to oppose the previous question on the rule so that we can immediately consider H.R. 6858 to reverse the democratic policies that have deliberately created the highest gasoline prices ever suffered in this country. You know, I remember the 1970s when America was dependent on foreign oil. OPEC cut back production and the government tried to hide the price hikes by fiat, just as the Democrats now propose. The uh, result was mile-long lines at gas stations, odd and even rationing days, and an economic recession. Under the Republican policies of Donald Trump, America achieved something that seemed impossible in those days, American energy independence. Under Republican policies, we were producing more oil than Saudi Arabia. We were producing more oil than Russia. The average price of gas was a little over $2 a gallon. Now this time, OPEC didn't cut back on foreign production. The Democrats cut back on American production. They canceled the Keystone Pipeline that today should have been pumping 830,000 barrels of oil every day into the American economy. They suspended oil and gas leasing on federal lands. Just last week, they withdrew drilling leases covering a million acres in oil-rich Alaska and the Gulf of Mexico. Now, the left has said for years they wanted to raise gas prices to get people out of their cars and to end American fossil fuel production. Well, good job, Democrats. Mission accomplished. The price of a gallon of gas hit an all-time record this morning of $4.52 a gallon. And in the People's Republic of California, it's now $6.02 a gallon, something to look forward to. Welcome to the world of scarcity, the world of democratic socialism. The fact is our energy crisis is self-induced, and it won't change until the zealots directly responsible for it are turned out of office. For example, watch the vote on the previous question on this rule. If it fails, Republicans will immediately bring to the floor a measure to reverse these disastrous policies. H.R. 6858 will greenlight the Keystone Pipeline. It will fast-track leasing and permits to restore American production and independence. It will fast-track LNG facilities stalled under this administration. In short, it will restore the Republican policies that produced the affordable and plentiful gasoline that we took for granted just a few short years ago. But the sad fact is we don't have the votes to bring this measure to the floor, although we'll try. And that is up to the American people to change. If you want to know who the real price gougers are, they are the Democrat majority sitting on the other side of this aisle. If you voted for them, this is exactly what you voted for. And if you're surprised by that, you weren't paying much attention. The good news is you can correct that mistake this November. I yield back.